Dozens of North Texas superintendents say the state's new system for grading schools deserves an F. The system itself grades schools A through F, and some campuses that were acceptable last year are now considered failing. The superintendents say that's confusing and sends the wrong message to students, but that's not their only complaint to state lawmakers who are about to begin their next legislative session. Fox 4's Natalie Solis live in Sunnyvale with the story. Natalie. Well, Steve, uh, today was a big important meeting and it was unusual because you had about 60 superintendents and administrators from various and in some cases very different school districts across North Texas. But today they were all on the same page in wanting lawmakers to make three key changes this legislative session. Fourth grade STEM lab at Sunnyvale Elementary. These are our future engineers. Doug Williams, the Sunnyvale ISD superintendent, says it's the perfect example of why he and other superintendents stand together in wanting standardized tests and the A through F grading system for schools deleted from the education system for misrepresenting what's really happening in Texas schools. What industry and, jo and, and, and the job world wants is they want kids that can do these kind of things, not, not be able to pass a standardized test. This system is based on getting vouchers in, which we know is not helping poor kids or minority kids. It's a subsidy for rich affluent folk. That's the truth. Terrell Superintendent Michael French passionately expressing why the group also believes school vouchers and education savings accounts belong on the chopping block. Then there's funding. No new money would have to be put in from the state. That money comes directly from the rise in property taxes. The superintendents want to see that go up by $275 per student. I think that I'm really good at building stuff, but I want to be a marine biologist. Williams says he's hopeful lawmakers will hear their call. I think the biggest challenge is, is coming from, from um, those that believe public schools are not working. And set a different agenda in motion. Well, William says they will continue to lobby lawmakers, but he adds the most influential voices in Austin right now belong to parents. Steve. All right, so Natalie, you know it doesn't take much to get a bill filed, only one lawmaker. Uh, it takes more to get it out of committee, and of course, a lot more to get a, a bill to become a law. What are you getting a, a sense of that? How many lawmakers are ready to get behind this? Any word at this point? Right. Well, at the meeting today, the superintendent from Terrell says that the state rep from Kaufman, who also represents part of Henderson County, is on board with repealing the A through F rating system for schools. Unclear exactly who else, but again, the voices that the superintendents say that they're really hoping to mobilize, at least at this point in the game, are what they call the real stakeholders, those parents. Steve. All right. Natalie Shalise, thank you.